Well, hello my friends and welcome again to the complete Kotlin course. We have learned about the basic control flow and we have said that we have comparison operators that include six operators, equality, not equal, equals, equal, not equal, less than, less than or equal, greater than or greater than and equal. And we have learned about the logic operators, the AND, operator and the or operator which values between the and the give us the value between and the result between the two booleans now we are going to talk about the string equality sometimes you want to determine if two strings are equal for example a children's game of naming an animal in a photo would need to determine if the player answered correctly in Kotlin, you can compare strings using the standard equality operator. In Java, this is different. We use dot is equal, is equal method. Okay, but in Kotlin, we can use the ordinary equal equal operator and it's standard equality operator. In exactly the same way as you compare numbers. For example, if I have val, I'm making an, a quiz. So I have stored x equal to, uh, let me say, uh, Kotlin. And uh, the result val dog equals maybe y equals y equals x equal to x is it equal to uh, java so let me print y equals x and it will return false You see, here y equals x is a boolean. That is, in this case, equal to false because Kotlin does not equal to Java. Simple. So, just as within the numbers, it will compare x. It will go through here. It will put here val y equal x forget the equal sign here it will separate like this x it will go and get the value of x and it is equal to kotlin so here the kotlin is it equal to java it is the same naming it's the same letters no it will return false so it will go and goes here to store it like equal to false Okay, this is the logic of Kotlin and how it thinks about comparing the string equality. Okay, this is how string equality works. And also just as with, as with numbers, you can compare not just the equality, but also to determine if the value is greater than or less than the another value. Okay, so how it works i can create here val uh, let me say z equal to um, php less than java let me run and see or you can simplify the boolean expression is equal to false because it is not less than the syntax checks if one string come be comes before another alphabetically so it is p less than j no j comes first before the p in this case the z equals to false because php comes 
or Java comes before the PHP. J comes before PHP. Now let's see if A less than B. If we hover and simplify Boolean expression and it is equal to true. So this is the string equality. We have learned about uh, a basic control flow and we said that it is comparison operators, logic operators and string equality. Later on, we are going to talk about the advanced uh, advanced control flow and uh, but the way we are going to start with uh, conditional statements and conditional expressions and later on the advanced control flow.